just got this from Amazon like three minutes ago. So excited to open this and thumb through it and see what great 25 spooky projects are included. This is from Lindsay Swearingen. Swearingen? Um, she is the creator of Tusk and Cardinal, um, which can be found on Instagram. Uh, new designer, at least to me, and have definitely fallen in love with her overall aesthetic. Um, this book was just published today or yesterday, available. Um, I ordered mine via Amazon and let's open it. Um, so obviously I'm going to be super careful with patterns, um, but that's even hard to even copy. This is great. So cute. A lot of grass, but I love that. So here's the contents, introduction, there she is. So it's also kind of a how-to also of cross stitch if you never have. A little write-up on threads, frame and hoops. Here's a design that's in the book. Um, a couple other ones. Sewing notions like needles and scissors, cleaning, thread organization. So, and then techniques as if, you know, whole step by step if you've never cross stitched before, what back stitching is. Um, so, obviously, I can skip all of that. How to frame a cross stitch in a hoop. So, it's great. She's also showing. Um, how to fully finish it, right? So here we're going to start with the projects. Um, she was on Instagram Live the other night um, talking about the book and said that she kind of also did a little write-up on each design, a little backstory, inspiration. So I think that that is really cool. This is entitled Springtime in the Graveyard. You can see the stitch count, what size it'll be finished. Um, DMC, Ada, that's really cute. Um, and then, you know, obviously you could easily switch out the DMCs for any overdides as well. Here is Thistles and bones which is seen there love that you guys know i'm a sucker for a skeleton lover's graves so she did a sneak peek of this design last week and i think it's fantastic not only is the frame fantastic um but yeah, really, really cool. Um, dead berries. Little ghost cat. Um, and as you can see, I think all of these are on black DMC, which is not necessarily a hard pass for me because I think doing things on Black Ada really gives it a different look than what you can ever achieve on a different colored fabric. Here is Illuminated Ghost. This is what is shown on the front page. Um, and as you can see, her patterns are in color, which is not a big deal for myself. Haunted Homes, so she definitely has this broken down into, you know, themes. Former homeowners, love those trees. Really, really cool. Now this one's not on, on uh, Black Ada, this one is on Oatmeal. 
uh, Bab Baba Yaga. Um, those cauldrons are really cool. Welcoming Committee. Witch's Cauldron. So a little write up. And that would be cool, you know. Maybe don't stitch the spider. Maybe you add a charm or something like that. You could use DMC Etoile for the black here, sub it out, or even the orange down below. Dark florals. This is very, very cool. Um, cranium carnations. Um, I have a couple craniums, yes. And then are these supposed to be eyes? Because I love those. Dark deco. Let's see what this one is. So just a very simple floral. Bell jar. No creepy home is complete with at least one oddity. Oddities shops have bewitched me for a long time. I love to see collections of the strange and unusual, the weird and the unexplainable. Well, guess what? That's what I have. Spooky rooms. So here is Haunted Hearth. Sun room. This one, she showed this on the um, Instagram live. Um, fully stitched, but doable because, yeah, there's a lot of this striped wallpaper. Um, but that's, it's designed so it's not like crazy, you know, confetti sort of stitching. Mid-Century Haunted. I love the uh, pictures, the portraits, and the ghost looking in from outside. This one is called Witch House. This chapter section of the book is called Creature Feature. Here is one of the designs there with the cats. Here is called The Grim. British folklore describes the Grim as a special apparition um, of death in the form of a black large dog. Oh God, well, Wally's a big gray dog. And then it's candles. Um, along its back so it can see through the forest. Gentle Monstrosity. This is definitely not for people that like spiders, but very cool. Love the border on that as well. White Rat. Hidden Lodgings is the name of the next chart. And you can see it's from Inside a Rabbit. A really cool, this kind of cool idea. This is Doom and Gloom. So that was the very first image that was shown. Not the grim, doom and gloom is this one here. And vintage Halloween, trick or treat. So here is Fright Night. 
very uh, retro looking style cat. Here it is Shadows on the Moon. 64 by 61. I'm going to definitely have to get myself some Black Ada trick or treat. So here were the two pumpkin skeleton pumpkin guys. Haunted wings. Very cool. And I believe that is it a little bit about Lindsay index and yeah that is it so super excited I might need to figure out which one I'm gonna stitch on maybe tonight I'll have a new start so yeah there you guys go a review of creepy cross stitch <laughs>